All right, guys, Shoddy T here. Day number seven or day number six is about to start. Going to do this a little different this time. Not going to do it as it starts because obviously we're going to be in the middle of fighting. But I am going to show you how to gain points. And it's pretty straightforward. So day six, Enemy Buster. Dispatch UR Trade Truck one time. That's ultra rare for you guys wondering basically the yellow trucks so what you would do you would take these things here yeah as you can see i have 34 of these trade contracts you go to your trucks as you can see i can't click on them right now but you'll be able to click on them and then it'll take you to the screen where it shows you the truck you get one free roll so sometimes you can use that free roll and get lucky and get a yellow truck. But if you don't get one, that's when you hit this button here. And hopefully, ideally, you can get all four yellow trucks. Now, of course, there's some RNG involved. But if you can get at least three trucks, that'll be great. Obviously, if you get like a purple one that has some loot treasure that's too good to pass up, I mean, you can go ahead and dispatch that truck. But you want to try to shoot for four because obviously you will maximize your points. That's 800,000 points off the, off the top. Next, you have perform one legendary secret task. So these are the, when you go to the events here, you go to secret mobile squad. So sometimes you might start with four and that you look for these colors, you see all of these orange, yellow on this left side. And then you see purple down there. Sometimes you'll see blue. So what you want to do at the very bottom where it says refresh, as you can see, I have 44 of those. When once the new day starts, you might have a couple of a couple of orange, yellow ones. Go ahead and dispatch your units towards that because you, you don't want to refresh something that is already orange go ahead and claim that get those orange out the way and then for the remaining let's say i got seven of these so i get rid of two of them so the remaining or i get actually i got eight of them so i get rid of two of them so for the remaining six i'll hit the refresh and for every one any new one that turns orange, I'll go ahead and collect that. So now I have five left. And you just keep doing it until you get all orange. Now, again, there is RNG involved, so you may not get it. And the number of tasks you have varies based off your HQ level. As you can see, I have eight, but I believe, yeah, yes, I, I have eight. So, um, so really, the higher you go, the more you get as far as your base level. All right, so once I get the HQ level 27, which will probably be in two months <laughs> at this rate, I'll be able to have more tasks to unlock. But for every one of those tasks that you dispatch, you get 150,000 points. So for me, just using my account alone, because again, the number of tasks is gonna vary per person, if I maximize all legendary trucks and all legendary secret tasks, that's 800,000 plus 1.2 million. So that's 2 million done. And then, of course, you get credit for using all your speed ups this time. Healing, training, research, and construction. My previous video showed you guys how to use the construction, research, and the training. But the healing one is relevant because there is going to be fighting. So... The opponents, uh, the opponent that we're facing, I think they probably have progressed since the since the last time I looked at them. But let's look at them again. Uh, let's just go to the entire alliance. So they have 84 members. So they got a level 24, for example, 28.5 power. Um, let's see what their leader is. Their leader is level 22. All right, so pretty much everyone is in that 20 to 22 range. You got that one guy that's 24. You got this guy at 23. So pretty solid uh, depth. But from my perspective, all of these people are folks that I'm targeting once this event starts. So I'm looking forward to just annihilating this. So 
once the event starts, you will see this tab flash at the top because this attack icon will turn green. So when you click that, it'll actually teleport you to their territory and you can and you can place your base anywhere in their territory. And I'll show you how that looks like. I'm not going to place my port, for example, but I'm going to show you how it looks like. When you get there, you'll be able to move your base around and wherever you feel like you want to spot yourself, you hit that green check mark. I'm not going to do that for the sake of this video because that's going to waste a resource. So I'm going to get out of that. So you'll be in the middle of their territory. You can fight as many of them as you want. Um, and you can scout them ahead of time just to make sure they don't have any troops at their base. Let's just use this guy, for example, because they have troops on their on their base. When you attack them, your guys are going to lose a little bit of health, but not too much, depending on how big of a difference your power level is versus theirs. So I scouted this base. It'll show up in your inbox. Scouted base. So as you can see, this person has two defense units. So let's just use a an attack example. Let me just attack this guy just one time. Just one time. All right. So we're going to attack him. It's going to take a minute and give you an advanced tactic to march to someone quicker. You aim towards a resource. It'll get your guys to march faster. And then when you get close to your target, you focus the attention on your target. So let's do that right here. We're close. And now we can turn our attention to the opponent. So that's a little tactic there. So as you can see, I attacked him. And let's let's see, I'm gonna pretend like I'm gonna attack again, but I'm not. So it depleted my units. I don't even know if it did at all. I, I don't remember what it looked like. But that's that's what you do. You just attack. But if you want to do multiple attacks, what you can do is dispatch multiple units at one time. Actually, I need to bring both of my units back on base. Um, you do that. You just keep attacking until they're eviscerated. Um, usually it takes 10 attacks to disappear them off the map. And once that happens, they'll disappear to a random part of the map. And they will also be red. So your own alliance members is going to be green neutral is going to be white but the enemy that you're facing the house will be red so that way when you zoom out you'll know exactly where your opponent is located and you just go after them so going back to when you're teleporting to their base uh the idea is you don't want to have your units up and i showed this in the previous video you want to take all of your members off of defense and right now they're all off of defense right now if i wanted to put them back on i would just hit that but of course we're not doing that all right so normally if you don't have anyone on defense if you don't have anyone on defense this area right here where it says garrison units it'll be completely blank so that means you can attack someone and not worry about losing health so you can literally attack them multiple times in one go to attack more efficiently. And I may do a video to show you guys some attacks. I know a lot of this is difficult to explain without the actual action. All right. So you do that. You go to, you're in the opponent's territory. You fight, you fight, you fight. They're going to they're going to fight back. <laughs> they're going to fight back. So you got to hold your own. Uh, these teleports can come handy, uh, these uh, random teleports, but all you can do is simply when you're in, let me just heal these folks real quick. When you're in the opponent's territory, you will get a free teleport back to your own territory where you can place your base anywhere in your alliance. And if you want to go back to their territory, you have to wait five minutes. And speaking of cooldown. If you're not looking to fight at all, shield like this guy right here. How do you use the shield? You go to the Alliance store if you don't have one. Uh, there are 20,000 uh, Alliance units. And you can get these by donating to your Alliance, helping your Alliance member build stuff. He'll help, helping your Alliance build these points. And they can add up pretty quickly. 
You can use a 24 hour shield or you can use an eight hour shield. So I have four eight hour shields that I plan on dispatching randomly at times. When this event first starts, I'm going to attack. And then before I go to bed, I'm going to use an eight hour shield. But when you're in attack mode, you're not able to shield right away. So what you would need to do is wait about 15 minutes and then and to you to utilize the shield. All you do is click on your base, click the shield button that the yellow button there and you click use for whatever shield you want to use. All right. Now, keep in mind, once you're shielded, you're, the opponent cannot attack you. They cannot scout you, but you cannot attack anyone either. If you do try to attack someone while you're shielded, then your shield will disappear. So, so if you shield and make sure you, that you're not going to be fighting for a while, otherwise it'll be a waste of a shield to shield yourself for eight hours and then turn back around and fight two hours later. So you might as well don't even shield to begin with. So make sure you use your shields wisely. Uh, get those points. All right. So get those points with the speed ups, uh, building, uh, killing opponents and level seven units, basically opponents that have barracks level 20 um, and below. Uh, seven units, uh, level eight units is, I think, I think level eight units unlock at level 24 barracks, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah. So, so really the opponents that we're going to be facing is going to have level seven barracks and below. So the, the more of those you attack, the better. So that's how you accumulate points. And when this is all said and done, I'll probably have like 20 million points because I'm going to be fighting like crazy. But I will be expecting some kickback from the opponent. But any questions, guys, like I said, I'll probably show some live action in another video probably tomorrow. So you can see some of the tactics that I explained in this video into action. But until then, guys, I will see you later.